tracking at the moment is coming in from Mumbai where the Bombay High Court has allowed the Udav Thakre faction uh, to in fact uh, a hold that the Shera rally in Shivaji Park. This is coming as a big uh, a boost to the Thakre camp where they have been allowed to hold that rally. Uh, this uh, The Shera rally is very significant for uh, Shiva Sena as uh, uh, we, were, we have been explaining. The Bombay High Court meanwhile has uh, asked or rather told the BMC that uh, in this case it seems to have abused its power. Uh, the Bombay High Court has allowed the Udav Thakre plea and set aside the BMC's decision which had in fact uh, said that neither of the two factions, that's the Udav faction or the Eknath Shinde faction be allowed to hold uh, that the Shera rally in Shivaji Park and the reasons that were cited by them were a law and order situation that could be created due to it. Now that has been set aside. Let me go across to Sohit for more details. Sohit, certainly very important there, uh, a decision that uh, has gone in favour of Udav Thakre and certainly a shot in the arm, at least as of now, when they'll be able to hold that traditional Dashera rally in uh, Shivaji Park. Absolutely. Well, in fact, while uh, when we interviewed say, Udav Tha uh, Aditya Thakre, even he said that we'll be the only one doing the rally in Shivaji Park and later... Uh, day before yesterday when uh, Uddhav Thakre addressed uh, the boot coordinators in Mumbai, even then on stage he, uh, 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 he also repeated that the Dasara rally will happen at Shivaji Park itself. Now, yes, uh, there was a legal battle that was being fought by both the camp, the Uddhav Thakre camp as well as the Ekna Shinde camp regarding uh, who will be organizing the Dasara rally at Shivaji Park. Uh, uh, in 1966, uh, when uh, Shiv Sena was fought by Bala Sahib Thakre in the other at his residence, Later, uh, uh, Bala Sahib Thakre has his own uh, magazine known as Marmik through which he said that the first rally which will be organized uh, will happen at Shivaji Park on the Sera. And since then it has been a tradition that all the uh, rallies, uh, the Dasara rally is the most important rally that Shiv Sena does and this is being celebrated or organized in Shivaji Park itself. And it is a tradition that has been continued since then and it is important because in Shivaji Park when this rally happens that is the exact place where the party's uh, line for the next one year is decided and whoever is the uh, Shiv Sena chief takes that rally. So it has been the Thakre so far and even this year this will be, it will be taken by a Thakre itself. Uh, what happened is uh, this year when we know that there are two rebel factions that have come forward, the Shinde camp as well as the Uddhav Thakre camp, both of them had given the applications to the BMC to hold this rally at Shivaji Park itself. On 21st of September, uh, the Uddhav Thakre faction also went to the Bombay High Court and said that we want the permission to be given by the Bombay High Court. On 22nd of, uh, of September, that is yesterday, uh, we saw that there is a, a letter that has been given by the BMC in which, in which the BMC had denied the permission to any of the factions saying that it would lead to uh, a law and order uh, uh, disturbance in that area. Uh, later today when this hearing happened, the court first of all, there are there were three petitioners in this case. The, uh, the petition was made by uh, the Uddhav Thakre faction. There was the BMC which was replying to it, and it was also being intervened, uh, intervened by the Shinde camp because Sada Sarvankar from the Shinde camp had also applied to get the permission at uh, Shivaji Park itself to organize the Dasara rally. So while uh, giving the order, the first uh, court first of all said that this court will not decide who is the real Shiv Sena. Okay. So we won't be arguing on that. Hmm. The court also said that we don't find any locus on the intervention made by Sada Sabranka from the Ekna Shinde camp. So that was rejected. Later, the court there were strong words given by the court uh, against the BMC. The court noted that the BMC asked for the police report on the same day the Thakre faction moved high court. The court also said that the decision of the BMC to not allow the uh, both the camps to organize the Sarah rally at Shivaji Park is not a bona fide decision. In fact, uh, the court also uh, uh, said uh, that uh, by uh, the uh, question the BMC's uh, uh, rejection of uh, these applications, the court said that uh, the, uh, the decision given by the BMC of rejecting both applications uh, has abused the power in this case by rejecting the application citing another application. So yes, a uh, lot of strong words by the Bombay High Court to the BMC and at the same time the permission has now been provided to Uddhav Thakre faction and on uh, 6th, on 5th of October, this uh, on Dasara uh, uh, Eve, the rally will be organized by the Uddhav Thakre faction itself uh, at Shivaji Park in Mumbai. So viewers should also know that uh, the Shiv Sena Bhavan, which is the party headquarters, is only 200 meters away from Shivaji Park. So Dadar has a quite a resemblance, uh, Dadar is where Shivaji Park is and it has quite a resemblance in 
the history of Shiv Sena. And that is the reason what has happened right now is that since there are two patches, the entire rebellion happened. After that, uh, a competition is going on between both these uh, factions. We know that there is a case that is going on in the Supreme Court regarding who is the real Shiv Sena. At the same time, since there is a Shiv Sena Bhavan in Dada, a parallel Shiv Sena Bhavan okay. is being made over there itself right. by Ekla Shinde camp. At the same time, when uh, Uddhav Thakre applied uh, that uh, they want to organize uh, the okay. Dasara rally at Shivaji Park, hmm. same thing was done by Ekna Shinde camp. And that is the reason this order uh, by the uh, Bombay High Court uh, brings quite a relief for Uddhav Thakre faction and they will be the one that will be organizing the All rally right. at uh, Shiv, uh, Shivaji Park. However, the Ekla Shinde camp had already, uh, they have a permission to organize the rally at the MMRDA ground in BKC. So even on the Dasara's eve, we will be seeing two rallies happening at the same time by both okay. the faction of Shiv Sena and both of them have been claiming that they are the real Shiv Sena. All right. Uh, so let's stay on with us. Let's quickly li quickly listen in to what uh, the lawyers uh, who have been taking this case up in the Bombay High Court had to say. आणि आमची देखील जबाबदारी आहे आम्ही तसं न्यायालयाला सांगितलेलं आहे आम्ही देखील या सगळ्या अटींचं पूर्णपणे पालन करू सन 2016 पासून राज्य सरकारच्या जीआर प्रमाणे 45 दिवस हे वेगवेगळ्या कारणांसाठी दिले जातात त्यामध्ये दसरा मेळावा हा शिवसेनेच्या माध्यमातून दरवर्षी घेतला जातो आपल्याला माहित असेल त्यापूर्वी मी स्वतः माननीय उच्च न्यायालयात ना 2012 ते 2016 या वर्षामध्ये उच्च न्यायालयात ना परवानगी घेऊन दसरा मेळावा आम्ही साजरा करत होतो हा फक्त दसरा मेळावा नसून शस्त्रपूजन त्या दिवशी होतं सोनं लुटण्याचा कार्यक्रम त्या दिवशी होतो आणि हे सगळ्या गोष्टी आम्ही आज माननीय उच्च न्यायालयाच्या समोर ठेवल्या त्याचबरोबर काल दादरचे आमदार सदा सरवणकर यानी इंटरव्यूशन के लो आने त्यानी कोर्टाला दिशा भूल करने सा प्रयत्न के लाने संगीत लकी तिते दोन शिवसेना है आने आमचा शिवसेने कड़े सगड़े अधिकार है आने त्यामुले आमला देखिल परवांगी मिला भी All right, let me go back to Sohit uh, for more on this. Sohit, uh, can you just uh, uh, first of all help us understand what the lawyer was saying with regards to the case today? Well, uh, the one who, was, who is speaking right now, his name is Anil Parav. Yes, he is an advocate, but he was not the lawyer in this case. He is the Shiv Sena leader and uh, close to the Thakre family. And uh, while he is speaking in Marathi, he is saying the same thing that we uh, we have uh, won this case and uh, the victory is ours. We were the one to go to the uh, BMC first. We were the first uh, ones to go to the court and ask for the permission. Later, the Shindek faction approached the BMC. And uh, while we also approached the BMC to get uh, the permission for uh, the BKC ground for which uh, the Ekla Shinde uh, camp had earlier approached, the BMC gave them permission for the BKC ground but regarding the Shiv uh, Shivaji Park, no permission was given by the BMC and today in the court, whatever has happened, he, uh, Anil Parav has been summarizing the very same thing uh, for, uh, for uh, the media as well that what has happened inside the court. Okay. So yes, a huge victory, uh, this is a victory for the Uddhav Thakre faction, we know that Uddhav Thakre was the chief minister of Maharashtra, the Mahavikas Aghadi was in power but later we saw that Ekna Shinde later along with 40 of his, of his rebel MLS first okay. went to Surat, then to Guwahati, then to Goa and then back in Mumbai hmm. when the entire government changed and since then while Ekna Shinde has been claiming that he is the real Shiv Sena, the Shiv Sena that Bala Sahib Thakre formed, on the other hand uh, uh, be it Aditya Thakre or be it, Ekla Sh uh, or, uh, be it Uddhav Thakre, they have been calling these 40 rebel MLAs as traitors and also saying that uh, they are part of the B uh, BJP and they are not real Shiv Sena. So this is a huge fight this is, which is going on. Viewers need to understand because uh, 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 the case is going on in the Supreme Court and whatever is the case, uh, whatever is the decision that is uh, that comes later, it will decide the future of Shiv Sena as well as in a sense the future of politics in Maharashtra too. Okay. Because Shiv Sena is one of the most vocal as well as most popular party in the state. Hmm. So that is why this entire fight is very important for both these factions and that is the reason both of them can be seen going everywhere, competing against each other, trying to show they are the real Shiv Sena. Right. And that's why uh, both these uh, camps also reached the Bombay High Court. But yes, now the Bombay High Court has given permission okay. to the Uddhav Thakre faction and 
they will be the one organizing the dasara rally at shivaji park all right so a shot in the arm there for the other faction they've got permission now finally after having taken up the mat in the court to uh, go ahead and organize that the shara rally which is uh, a tradition as sohit was explaining for the shiv sena in the shivaji park many thanks sohit for joining us with all those details